Thank you. 
I recognize a lot of faces here, but uh, Thanks, so I don't. So I'll introduce myself. I'm Nora Rogers, my husband and I are the innkeepers of Barry House. We've been in this position for 27 years. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so we've, we've faced a lot of challenges in this in business in the last two years, as I'm sure you have all faced a lot of challenges too. Lockdown, the last lockdown was the hardest, wasn't it? When we got to this all. So in the winter, um, I, I was really trying to think what we might do when we reopen. What would be really fun? What have we done in a long time? What have we done in two years or longer? So I figured laughter is the best medicine. So we thought we'd start off with a series of comedy shows. So we had Yuckix, that was really fun. And we have still have one to go. On May the 14th, we have uh, Drew Hayden Taylor coming. He's an amazing Indigenous humorist. Really great guy. Um, but anyway, laughter is the best medicine, but shopping is definitely <laughs> really good. <laughs> so especially for clothes. So probably it's hot. So I was thinking a fashion show would be really fun. We haven't done one here at the Rainhouse for a lot of years. And so I spoke to Alexandra and her staff, and they were just so receptive. Really, really appreciate how, how good they were, and ready to step right forward and do this. And so um, at our first meeting, we were... Um, we were unanimous in our choice of who would, would benefit from the proceeds of the fashion show, and we all chose alternatives for women. Yay. And tonight we have Dominique Jones, who will be speaking with us later, I believe, and Emily Cohen, Cohen who is the, um, is the uh, chairman of the board of alternatives. And poor Leah is not well today. So they do a lot of great work, and this is a really worthwhile, uh, really, really worthwhile organization to fundraise for. Tonight, I know we'll all enjoy a wonderful fashion show. I actually saw the preview last night; it's fabulous. And I was really worried that if I didn't get in there right away, it'd all be gone. But <laughs> Alexander assures me there's lots there. <laughs> the music this evening, as you've been enjoying, is presented by Howard Lopez. for weddings as well, and he's played fashion shows at Simpsons. So, we've got a great guy here tonight, eh? <laughs> I have to say that Alexandra and her team have been just fantastic to work with, just a dream. Really, they're so organized and uh, and really and they're so professional and just a treat to work with. So, I really thank Alexandra and Amy Schubert and Betty Brunk and the organized all volunteers and everything. So. A bit about the evening. There is there's, there's going to be the first uh, first lineup of fashions um, during the fashions, and um, you'll have a chance at the end of the fashions, uh, first lot of fashions, to go back to the silent auction. So all these items and the items on the tables marked silent auction are for sale tonight to the highest bidder. And they're really fabulous things, and Alexander will be telling you more about their origin. And um, so and then there'll be a live auction uh, at the after the intermission. And uh, that's got some great items, and they're in the center table at the back. And throughout the evening, we'll be doing some draws for gift bags that Alexandra and her suppliers have put together, which is fabulous. And at the end of the evening, you have the chance to take home your bouquet of flowers from the table, and we'll tell you the price of that. <laughs> have I forgotten anything? No, I Okay, then take care Alexandra. I think I'll take off my mask to talk to you all. So, uh, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a bit hoarse from having it on. As uh, Laura said, it is just such a joy to see everybody here tonight um, ready to have fun. It has been a hard couple of years, and as a result of, uh, well, when Nora approached me to say that she thought it might be nice to put on a fashion show, I said yes, and then we all thought about it and thought, oh my God, we've never done this before. So we haven't ever done this before on this scale, so bear with us as we uh, go through these learning curves. Fortunately, Howard has, so uh, he has been instrumental in helping us navigate the process. And the other thing that happened was I reached out to our many wonderful suppliers and said that we were doing a fashion show for our local women's shelter 
and I cannot believe the generosity that just came back to us in spades. So everything that you see on the walls around you and on the silent auction table, other than the stuff that Laura generously donated, has been donated by Magpie suppliers. And um, I hope that uh, you appreciate how generous they've been and how beautiful the items are. And I hope that there's something here for everyone. And we really would like to be able to support Alternatives for Women tonight um, and really show how much we appreciate what they do for our community because there is such a great need for that. That aside, let's start the fun part. So we do have two rounds. We have nine models tonight and we have two rounds of um, items that they're wearing in each side of the intermission. So we will uh, start, I believe, by drawing from our raffle. So if uh, Amy or somebody could bring the raffle tickets over, we will draw some names from a raffle, for the raffle. We have um, lots of raffle items to give away tonight. So um, we're just going to draw the numbers and then I'll call out the numbers. And if you put your hands out, somebody will bring your prizes to you. So, the first round of raffle numbers are 0846694 And last one for this round is 0846676 I opened Magpie in, um, in its second iteration in uh, 2015 because I couldn't, as a working woman in Prince Edward County, I couldn't really find clothes that worked for me. And so part of the ethos of getting into this business was really just trying to provide comfortable, fun, um, easy to wear and easy to maintain clothes and that's really what we are all about. So um, I think that our our fashion lineup today you will find, you know, I don't do sequins and I don't do fancy frills. I just do really comfortable clothes and we are starting off with our first model tonight, Sheila Hobson. Sheila is a valued member of Magpie and of Magpie and Gilbert and Lighthall family, who has enthusiastically supported our fashion shows since we started doing this in a very small way um, in the st in store a couple of years ago. So we're delighted to welcome Sheila back from the winter in Portugal, just in time to strut her stuff on the runway. All that fun in the sun has certainly ensured that Sheila looks fabulous for this event, don't you agree? Yes. For her first outfit, Sheila's wearing a 100% knitted, a cotton knitted popover from Parkhurst. Parkhurst, interestingly, is the oldest knitting factory in Canada, located in downtown Toronto, and remains a family-run business to this day, and we love to support it. Sheila is also wearing a fabulous pair of skinny jeans from Scorzo, a new supplier for us. They're 98% um, cotton, 2% spandex, and they are really comfy, aren't they? And she pairs them with a pair of funky straw earrings because we know how much Sheila loves her accessories. So uh, off you go, Sheila. <laughs>
Next up, we have Laurie Ross. Laurie can be found most days holding down the fort at Gilbert and Light Hall. A keen dressmaker and always stylish, Laurie was thrilled to be able to participate in this event to support alternatives for women. For her first outfit, Laurie is wearing a Gigi camo jean jacket and the fringed hem and a pair of cargo capris from Alice and Sherry and a tank top also from Alice and Sherry. I bet, I bet that Laurie wishes she was off on safari, but uh, it's the wilds of Delhi Park that will have her and she'll be taming this summer, right Laurie? Way to go. Off you go. of the fashion show runway. In her role as the mayor of Carlton, Carlton Place, just outside Ottawa, she was called upon on many an occasion to strut her stuff down the runway. <laughs> so we were delighted to welcome her to our Magpie family of models. Wendy's first outfit is a pair of neon Buddha bright capris, 100% cotton, with a little bit of spandex. And they have wonderful detail at the bottom. And we've paired them with a Parkhurst 100% cotton multi-striped hoodie. The perfect outfit for Wendy, a keen gardener, to relax in her garden on any afternoon, she tells me. Executive Director of our Community Foundations and a new mother of the beautiful young five months old today, Cameron. Mm -hmm. And it just happens to be Dominique's birthday today, so say happy birthday. Oh, Dominique oh, certainly has her hands full at the moment, so this neon Buddha sundress is the perfect pop over for her busy life. 100% cotton, easy wash and wear. Pair it with a cowboy hat for a fun outfit to run off to the market with her good friend, Dr. Sarah LeBlanc. Yeah. Sarah also has a very busy life as one of our esteemed local doctors and organizer of our COVID-19 vaccination and testing centers. So, um, and Sarah, Sarah was delighted to be joining her mother, Wendy, and her friend, Dominique. Um, in supporting us, in helping us support alternatives for women tonight. She too is wearing a sundress by me and Boulder with lots of button details, 100% cotton, cotton, easy to maintain and perfect for her busy lifestyle. Don't these two ladies look great, just ready to work for day to day.
runway with her mother, Janet Davies. I'm grateful to Helen for supporting Magpie and allowing herself to be co-opted into being one of our models alongside her mum in the last number of magazine ads that we have produced for Magpie. Thank you, Helen, for being such a great sport. Helen looks fabulous today in a lounge suit by Sporzo. This is that Spanish supplier is telling you about. 100% got embroidery details on the t-shirt and uh, it's comfortable to wear and easy to maintain. Helen's also wearing a hat by Parkhurst and some jewelry, some beautiful bangles by, us, by our favorite uh, jewelry supplier, uh, Ziska. So off you go, Helen. <laughs> Sophia Farga. Sophia is the owner of a Pilates practice, which she operates out of both Picton and Wellington. I give thanks to Sophia every single day for helping keep me moving, and uh, she's a wonderful, wonderful instructress. So, for her first outfit, Sophia is wearing a pair of uh, Alison Sherry capris in fuchsia. These capris are 95% cotton, oh, sorry, 98% cotton, 3% spandex, and they're extremely comfortable, so we can attest. And she's paired it with this cute Alison Sherry blouse. It's got a little gathering detail up the sleeve and on the back, and um, a crossover body, um, sorry, a crossover, um, that's made from hemp locally here in Georgetown. So um, she looks fabulous. Ready for a day out in the county with her husband, especially off to one of those breweries he likes so much, right, Sophia? <laughs> mainly because I haven't found anyone else and she's on deadline. <laughs> yes, she does my ads as well. And uh, I give many, many great thanks to her for that and for always being game to step into the fray. And for joining us after several weeks abroad 
she got off the plane on Sunday and came straight in to try on some clothes and climbed up here tonight. So give her a round of applause. For that. She also brought Helen into our lives and for that I thank her as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> so Janet is wearing a pair of straight leg Scorzo jeans. That they're uh, the same jeans that that Sheila was wearing in yellow. They're 98% cotton to 3% spandex, and they're really comfortable. And underneath, she has a little tank top on by Alison Cherry, and this wonderful knitted popover by Parkhurst. And she's paired that with a Spanish-themed jewelry, so the ceramic bolas from Barcelona and some wooden earrings by Caracol. So, oh, and do you want the those are yours. <laughs> Fair enough. So, thank you, Janet. You look great. retired to Prince Edward County a full five years ago, right Lena? And they're the owners of Edgewater B&B on Hill Street. Lena also has uh, been a great supporter of our Magpie fashion shows from the very beginning and we're very grateful to her for joining us once again tonight. Lena is wearing a pure essence sleeveless cow neck top by um, yeah. Pure Essence is a Canadian-made fabric uh, company. Antoinette, the owner, really um, has put a lot of effort into making fabrics and bamboo as well. And she's paired those with a pair of neon Buddha capris with this cute little button detail on them. And this great jacket by Orly, with, well, hoodie really, by Orly, which is perfect for our current spring weather. And Lena's also gracing a pair of uh, Ziska earrings, bright pink. You look great, Lena. Thank you. So for this round, 
Sheila's wearing a beautiful blouse by Tinta Bariloche. Tinta Bariloche is um, a Spanish tailor and their work is fantastic. Uh, their quality is is fabulous. This is a linen cotton spandex uh, viscose blend and it has this inset panel on the back. And I just wanted to let everyone know that Tinta Bariloche did donate this shirt to us for our silent auction. It's available at the back and it's since we have it in store, it's available in any size from 6 to 16. So if you love it, buy it. If the one that you have on the wall doesn't fit you, bring it back and we'll get you into the right size, okay? And paired with her beautiful blouse, Sheila's wearing Allison Sherry Capris, 98% cotton and spandex, ultra comfortable, and a sweet pair of Ziska drops. And for those raffle winners that have got their prizes so far, you may find that you have a pair of Ziska earrings in the back. Okay. is a made in Canada product by Antoinette and she really does a great job providing fabulous wearable everyday basics in uh, in cottons and bamboos and sustainable fabrics and they're very comfortable aren't they? They are. Yes. And it's got pockets. And it's got pockets. So, as I said, you know, we've had a hard time during the pandemic because some of our suppliers have dropped off, some of our suppliers have decided that they're not bringing their product to Canada anymore, so we lost two key suppliers who we loved because they're just not bringing their product to Canada anymore, the market wasn't big enough for them um, with the increased costs. But the silver lining is that we've been able to find some other fabulous suppliers and Scorzo is one of them and I'm so thrilled to have them on board. This is a 100% cotton sundress and jacket and um, it's just really a beautifully tailored beautifully made piece and we have lots of Scorzo in store. You've been seeing us feature some of their jeans, we have these dresses and there's some just adorable t-shirts as well. And Wendy has paired this fabulous outfit with a Ziska necklace and Ziska earrings and her own matching walking stick, which is just awesome. <laughs> I hope someone takes you out for dinner in that outfit, Wendy. <laughs>
proud and none more so than Dominique. So Dominique is wearing this uh, fabulous uh, Elena Wang striped jacket, perfect for a day in the office, but also, you know, to uh, have some fun in too. And she's paired that with some kickback flared props by Lise and a Tinta Bariloche blouse. Tinta Bariloche is the yeah. Spanish company I was telling you about. They are really shirting company. Their, their blouses and shirts and their tailoring is exquisite. So uh, Dominique is rocking this outfit ready to go to the office when she's off maternity. Right, Rob? Right, yeah. <laughs> so much that when she came for the audition or for the try on she took a, a, a t-shirt home she couldn't wait right and she wore that she wore it out of the store in fact and she's pairing those with a pair of wide leg props by Alison Sherry and some bangles by Ziska so uh, she looks awesome ready to tackle whatever comes her way and a lot does <laughs> Okay. So, 
Yeah. So Sophia's rocking this fuchsia and uh, black print uh, cotton uh, little outfit. You can do up the top and wear it together, or you can do it as she did here with uh, with this tech top underneath. And uh, she's paired it with that Spanish ceramic necklace. And she looks great for a day in the county after putting everyone, torturing everyone on the Pilates <laughs> session. So. Six 
six three two. Go. Zero just a brief presentation. We were supposed to have Leah Morgan, who is the Executive Director of Alternatives Women, come and talk to you tonight. Unfortunately, Leah's not feeling well. So um, in her stead, Dominique Jones, who is our, the Treasurer of the Board of Alternatives Women, is going to come up and just do a brief presentation about uh, Alternatives Women and the work that they do, just so that we all just truly understand the magnitude of the work that needs to be done here in Prince Edward County. So let me just ask Dominic to join me and here she is. Hello, good evening and thank you all so much for being here tonight. My name is Dominique Jones and I'm the Vice Chair of the Board of Directors for Alternatives for Women. I'd like to quickly call out a couple of my fellow board members who are in attendance this evening. And if you can wave, that'd be great. That way your fellow table members can engage in discussion. We have Emily Cowan, the chair of our board. And we have Dee Hazel in the back, the secretary. And Terry McNair, who heads our human resources. Unfortunately not able to be here tonight is Jillian White, our treasurer. I thought I would start by sharing a little bit of information on what Alternatives for Women is and, and what we do. So Alternatives for Women offers free and confidential counseling services to abused women in Prince Edward County. We operate a 24-hour crisis line. We provide transportation to emergency shelters and offer counseling and transitional services not only in our office in Picton, but also in the rural areas of Prince Edward County through our Rural Women Outreach Program. We also recently launched our Training in Public Engagement Program, through which we engage public education presentations on why women stay in abusive relationships or why they leave. We also hold skill development workshops for women in Prince Edward County and recently youth engagement sessions with the aim of ending generational cycles of violence. These programs are funded by the provincial and federal government. However, our second stage transitional housing is not funded at all, believe it or not. So to deliver this service, we rely heavily on fundraising and donations from generous folks like yourselves here tonight. We have a six unit apartment building and recently purchased a large home, which some of you may know as Vise House. Vise House has four studio sized units and a long-term affordable housing unit. Our housing program is critical for ensuring the safety of abused women in Prince Edward County. As the period right after separation is the most dangerous time for a woman that is fleeing abuse. You may not know that every six days, a woman is killed by a partner or ex-partner in Canada. Yeah, I'm gonna let that hang in the air for a minute. And femicides in Ontario have increased by 64% last year compared to 2020. Yeah. Prince Edward County OPP have also reported an increase in domestic violence calls in our county. They've responded to 33% more domestic violence calls last summer than they did the year before. Last fiscal year, Alternatives for Women provided counseling services to 107 local women. 
And thanks to our supportive community, we were able to provide safe and affordable housing to 15 women and 16 children, not to mention a few dogs and cats as well. <laughs> I'd like to give special thanks to Alexandra Bake, Nora Rogers, yes, and <laughs> Nora Rogers for letting us use this fabulous place and allowing us to gather. <laughs> Amy Schubert. <laughs> All of my fellow wonderful models. Uh, sorry, Megan and Penny from Magpie, and everyone else who's here. I'm wrapping up, I promise. <laughs> the opportunity not only to raise funds for our organization, but also to raise awareness of this very prevalent issue is critical in ending gender-based violence in Prince Edward County. If you'd like to learn more about the work that we do, you can visit our website, alternativesforwomen.ca or visit our Facebook or Instagram pages. I will also just let everybody here know that we do have a board member vacancy. So if anybody is interested in learning about being a part of our board, please come find me or find Emily, Dee, or Terry to learn more about this opportunity. Thank you all so much and I hope you have a wonderful night. and take, t take the opportunity to look around here. If you don't see anything here that you like and want to take home with you, there are actually donation forms on your table, which I'm going to shamelessly promote because I truly feel that this is a cause worth promoting. And um, we will come back in about 10, 15 minutes, Nora, with uh, a live auction items. We have uh, just a few. I think about 10 items to auction, and then we will move on with the second half of the show. The first half of the uh, silent auction, the first 17 items, items number one through 17, will be closing after the intermission, and then the second half will close at the end of the show. Okay, thank you, enjoy your break.
good time in the blueberry pot.
uh, Nora, it's up to Nora and I to make this thing happen. So, uh, and Nora says she's really good at auctions. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, not so much. But there you go. Okay. So we are going to start with a birthday party, birthday afternoon tea party at the Waring House for eight people. So okay, take it so so at our at our uh, tea parties, um, our our pastry chef makes all of the lovely things on the tea tray. It's a traditional cream tea, and uh, at the tea the birthday tea party, there's of course candles, and uh, we have lovely uh, lovely tea from uh, Barney and Sons. It's a beautiful tea. Some of the world's best. So, so uh, it's a really nice event. It can be for eight people if you wanted to expand it. You can put that in your own house. <laughs> and our, our price for the afternoon tea is thirty dollars. So for eight people, the value is two hundred forty dollars. Okay. What does so, the tea include? The tea includes uh, scones and um, uh, tea sandwiches. So scones and cream and um, uh, Devon cream. And uh, tea sandwiches, traditional tea sandwiches, and then there's always a sweet portion as well. So three really good, you really full by the time you finish it. And then we have a really lovely choice of teas. You can get them from party. Sounds and delicious. Yeah. So yeah. much fun. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. friends. Good friend. Yeah. Might be dressed up in something from magpie, and you'll yeah. often have tea yeah, really. <laughs> There you go. In the summer, it can be in the garden. <laughs> So, do I hear $50 anywhere for afternoon tea? Thank you. This one has $50. By your $75? $100? Fantastic. $150 anywhere? LA. LA, thank you, LA. $200 anywhere? Remember, this is the $230 value. Fantastic. $220? Oh, Elaine, thank you. Two hundred and forty. Two hundred and forty. Anyone? Two hundred and twenty is great. Thank you very much. So, so when you, there, there's a certificate for you at the desk when you sign up for that. Okay. All right. The next item up. The next item up is um, an item that was donated by one of our favorite designers at Magpie. This is uh, Bryn Walker. Bryn Walker is a California-based company out of Pal uh, Berkeley, California. Um, they've been making fabulous clothes since 1992. And um, Bryn Walker really, in our store, is most well known for, for the linens, but we also have um, gauze cotton. We have ponty knit, like the pants that I'm wearing today. and. Um, they also have a luxurious line of um, prints and brocades, and it was one of these items that they donated to us today. So, no, no. So our first item is a gorgeous print silk poncho and wrap scarf. It's 100% uh, sheer Italian silk. It's a one size poncho and scarf, and it's uh, in a paletta, it's an original print design by Bryn Walker, and um, the suggested retail on this item is $385. It is a one size, fits pretty much everybody, and it's, uh, here, let me just hold it so that people can see it. So, can you hold it? So, oh no, you're, you're auctioning, I'm holding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, here you go, this is a beautiful, can you just see yourself flowing, flowing in that? It's just beautiful. Okay, so who has a hundred dollars for this beautiful, beautiful item here? Hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Who has a hundred and forty? Over here. Thank you. How about a hundred and eighty? Judith, you want this? Hundred and eighty dollars. It's worth three hundred and eighty-five. Two pieces. 180 over here, thank you. 225. Who has 225 for it? Beautiful. Just think of yourself flowing. And all your all your donations are going directly to alternatives for women. So you'll be getting this gorgeous item and uh, knowing that you're going to be helping women in need in the process. Two 
perfected this technique of making resin jewelry and as she got more proficient or as the team that she built up got more proficient they started using other high quality materials and in this case they have fresh water pearls encased in a resin necklace I mean resin bracelet elasticated really beautiful item for anyone that likes pearls and the value of this uh, bracelet is $120. So who would like to wear this bracelet home? How about $50 for this bracelet? $50, here, thank you. $75, $75? It's really beautiful. She has this amazing system with the resin that's so clear, it's beautiful. She also supports a whole community in Thailand well, where she's built schools and hospitals and uh, has really uh, fabulous, um, thoughtful, ethical producer. $80, thank you. $80, $100, $100 for this beautiful bracelet. Help women around the world, women in Thailand. Thank you. All right. Next we have a cookery school class for six. So this uh, this cookery school class uh, at the Curry House is our classes are run by David Korea, Chef David Korea. He's a chef who's traveled all over the world. He started um, in big hotels in Toronto and all of his uh, his uh, certification and everything. And, and he was he was a chef for Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones at one point. He's really traveled all over. And uh, at the Curry House, what I've been doing the last couple of years is just uh, I'll just pick a place in the world. And say, David, this is your cookery school class. They go to this, this place this week, and this place next week, and this place the next week. And he just loves doing it, and people really enjoy it. So this cooking class uh, is, and I don't have the dates in front of me. What's the dates on June? June 30th to July, or July, or July the 3rd. So either Thursday, June 30th, or Sunday, July the 3rd. So this is this class is in Apulia, the boot of Italy. So it's all the southern Italian favorites. And if you don't like that class for some reason, and you're willing to pay the money for the class, a class, <laughs> we can give you other choices as well. But I think it's fine to be there. So um, the class is a, includes an evening meal. You get a very school apron and a glass of wine with your dinner. You get your dinner, so you cook your dinner and uh, enjoy it as a group, and it's really fun. So this is for six people, and the way that we've done this in the past is just. I will suggest a price, and somebody can bid on on it for themselves. You're just paying for yourself here, okay? 
and then we try and get another person to do what they're willing to do. So, okay? So, if they want it to be for more than one person. If they want to be for more than one person, they want to do their table of six, if they want to talk to everybody at your table, if they want to do this as a group, that's fine too. You just say it's for six. It's the six. Or okay. for two. Yeah. Okay. And if you don't, know, if the date doesn't work for everybody, we can change it. But I just encourage you to really, really to So did you hear that? If the okay. date doesn't work, Nora will change it. But uh, it would be uh, preferable if you did it on uh, Thursday, June the thirtieth, or Sunday, July the third. Okay. And uh, the, the, the value of the uh, cookie school class is one hundred and thirty dollars. So that includes your class with the chef. It includes your apron, it includes a glass of wine, and it includes your meal. So it's a pretty good deal. So that's $130 yeah. per, really per person. person. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 So do I hear $75? Do you want, okay, $75. And are you for yourself or? We have a $75 here and we have a $75. We have a $75 for two there. And six. Oh, for six. For six. Okay. All right. Well, oh dear, how are we going to do this? How <laughs> about How about $100 for six? Then I would be happy with that. Yes. That okay? Yeah. Well, Alright. you offer more? I have 500 for six. She has 500 for six. Oh, all right. No, 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 you're not saying 500 per person for six. No, 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 no. you're 600. No, you've got 600 here, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. She's in the store, I don't want to So we have 600 for six. Is anybody going to bid that up? Over here. What would you like to see? 700 for six. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay thank, thank you very much. Thank you, that's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Value is 
$120. So do we have a bid for, oh sorry, the value is $110. So do we have a bid for 50 anywhere in the room? There, 50. Is anyone going to raise on 50? Would anyone like to look at this? Do we have a raise on 60? 65. It's all going to a good cause, ladies and gentlemen. Value 110. 70. We're up to 70. Is anyone going to bid on this? Yes, Well, come and look at it then. That's why it was in the back of the room, Elizabeth. We have 70. Do we have raise on 70? $80 anywhere? $80. $80. 70 going once, going twice, sold for 70. Thank you. For everybody at Feather Pillows, and they are made out west in a place called Northern Feather. It's an incredible company, a lot of women, it's an indigenous based company, and uh, they just do great work, really beautiful finishing. The uh, the covers on these things are um, hypoallergenic. The, the pillows are feather and down because that gives the best support and uh, the best softness. And uh, the feather bed, people say that it's like going to sleep on a cloud. <laughs> And the value is five hundred dollars. And if you if you've looked for feather items in the store, that's a good value. So it's pretty heavy. <laughs> that's the bed. So, so it's a queen size, queen size bed. It's not a bed. It's a feather bed. It's not a bed. No, it's a feather bed. You put it on your bed. <laughs> On top of your mattress. And you shake it out every once in a while, it's just beautiful. Just really lovely. We use them at home. Okay, so do I hear $100 anywhere? Two, fe two feather pillows and thank you over here. $200? $200, 200 thank you. Over here. Do I hear $250? $250? Thank you. Three hundred. Three hundred dollars. Sleep on a pillow. Sleep on a sleep on a cloud. Just float through the sleep bag. So two pillows and a queen size feather bed for your mattress. Think of it as a feather topper, Elizabeth, for your mattress. It's called a feather bed. So for anyone that's roaring to go after being locked up in uh, COVID, this is a beautiful item that goes fabulously with every color, but especially black, our favorite go-to uh, wardrobe staple. And uh, its uh, value is 
What's the value, Nora? The value is one hundred and fifty dollars. The value is one hundred and fifty dollars. Silver leaf. We seeing fifty dollars on this item, anyone? It's a dragon. Let me bring it to you. Dragons are good luck. We have a bid here for fifty. Fifty dollars. Does anyone else like to try it on? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, try it on. It belongs. Anyone to try it on? Anyone willing to give us uh, hundred dollars for this beautiful jacket? Two hundred eighty-five dollar value. Sorry. We don't have a luscious size, but you could lusciously try it on if you want. She can try it. On. Yeah. I can drive my car for
we had a hundred dollars, right? We so now jobs. we're what? What are you gonna bid for that? Yeah. <laughs> are you going to give us a hundred and fifty? Coast, and she does original artwork that is then transferred onto these scarves that are stunningly beautiful. I'm just going to open it here. Look at those colors, isn't that beautiful? Just lovely. Flowing again. Would you like to start the 
bidding on that? Value $250. Would you like to stop the bidding on that?
ideal item to wear as she traipses around, she not traipses, as she gallivants around the country and, uh, and has fun time with her friends and family, right, Sheila? Right. Yeah. And uh, we're just waiting for Howard to get back into his place. And there we go, we're ready. Spring. It's an American manufacturer called Dinoa, and some of you might be familiar with Dinoa because we have we carry a lot of their very um, distinctive animal prints. So if you've seen the cats and dogs and giraffes and things that we often put in our window, those are Dinoa. They're super comfortable, um, cotton, um, and Laurie's pork. Uh, Paired this beautiful cow neck dress with a necklace by Ziska and earrings by Ziska. So, off she goes. in a pair of linen trousers by Bryn and, and a beautiful blouse by Tinta Barilache. And as I said to you before, this, this company has just beautiful shirting and this is just a wonderful example of it. And uh, Wendy has paired this with a necklace and earrings by Ziska and another fabulous cane. Very nice. So... Belt, all by Lise, and she is wearing a necklace by Lover's Temple, and she looks great in this outfit. Thanks, Dom. Six items, and it's even harder to try and, and uh, 
identify the great variety of items that we have, but uh, Sarah's really rocking this dress, and we do have a great selection of dresses in store. And she's paired it with the bangles that go perfectly, and off you go, Sarah. of those. So this is the last collection that we will be receiving from Kozan. It's a Turkish company. They're ethically made and uh, beautifully comfortable fabrics. It looks really tailored, but it's really giving. And uh, this little jacket that she's wearing can be worn closed or open. And we've chosen to pair it with a little white tank top underneath. And we also have a necklace by uh, Vida is one of our Spanish necklace suppliers, uh, oh, jewelry suppliers, and they're beautiful. Anyway, Helen just looks great in this little pantsuit, and uh, come and look at Kozan before it's gone. Once it's gone, we're not getting it back, unfortunately. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's wearing um, a 
another dress by Pure Venice, the same designer that Sophia was wearing earlier. And this is a linen print, 100% linen printed dress made in Italy. Beautiful, flowy, and it has pockets. And she's paired it with a leather tote. I love Vivid. A, a red necklace and red earrings because we love red accessories, don't we, Lena? Okay. <laughs> everybody in our, um, our, I think, what's soon becoming our store favorite designer, Bryn Walker. So you will see Bryn Walker on all nine models in different fabrics and different, I mean, different uh, forms and, and colors. And so we are starting with Sheila, of course. And Sheila is uh, looking great in a pair of linen, 100% linen gauchos with this beautiful stretchy top and, and a little tank top and she's paired that with a Ziska necklace and earrings because she does love her accessories, don't you Sheila? And she has a little clutch purse by Inzi, so go, off you go Sheila. <laughs> Thank you. 
And now we have Laurie. And Laurie is wearing a new fabric for us from uh, Bryn Walker. It's a 100% cotton gauze, very light and airy and comfortable, especially in a hot summer day. And she's wearing a pair of um, Casper, they're called Casper pants. They have a little pocket and they come in a little bit at the bottom. And a flowy tunic. Oh, and they have pockets. Is that what you're showing me? Yes, they do. Pocket color. And she's paired it with earrings by Posey Jones, who uh, is our, our dear friend Claudia McCabe. And they're a uh, bone and sterling silver. And she has uh, a Cisco necklace and a lovely straw basket to finish the outfit off. So you look back. Sorry, off you go. is just uh, such a beautiful piece to wear. It flatters so many different shapes. And with the cowl neck, the cap sleeve, and then the, the V at the bottom, it's so elegant. And she's paired that with the uh, cream linen, as the tr um, cream linen, uh, I can't remember what the trousers are called anyway. They're cream linen trousers by Bryn Sorry, I'm getting tired. Um, so, she looks fabulous, off you go. Oh, and it does come out, so you can make a pocket or you can have a, a pointy, extravagant... There you go. Sorry. dress it down but it always looks fabulous. in a beautiful print and Sarah's wearing our favorite ceramic bonus necklace from uh, Barcelona and a pair of the skit earrings to match. But uh, once again, you know, you can see how these clothes can be worn every day to work or to the market, but then they can also be dressed up and taken out for uh, special occasions. So hopefully someone's taking you for dinner in that outfit, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Louis talk with a pair of linen uh, capris, uh, sorry, their gouches. And uh, the cotton wool's top has an elastic waist and arms, which makes it really comfy and cozy. And then she has um, fabulous beads on as well. But um, yeah, all really comfortable, easy to wash and, and uh, easy to maintain and very easy to wear clothes by Brimhocker. <laughs>
went to Sue Barkley. Number 19, the Orly T-shirt went to Jennifer Dean. Number 20, the Flying Heart Show went to Norma Leet. The 21, the Karen Turquoise blouse went to Pauline Morrison. The uh, peach jean jacket went to Lidu Westbrook. The Trisha Tyler back and multi cardigan went to Flo Thompson. The fun sport blouse went to Nancy Griffin. The t shirt dress went to Lee Smith. The Karen Hartman outdoor jacket went to uh, Deb Zumi. The Trisha Tyler multi color sweater went to Erica Zodenberg. The uh, Parkhurst poncho, the pink pearl one, went to Heather Ryan. The black and white poncho went to Lena. Thank you. <laughs> and the cork purse went to Annabelle Murray. The cork purse number 33 and the cork purse, uh, the queen size sheets went to Colleen Green. And that's the event for the evening. Thank you very much everyone for coming. I hope you've had a good time and we really appreciate your support for this evening. Oh, and just one final order for the night. The flowers. So, who would like to take home the flowers on your table? Lovely. So just, just pick them up if you want them and pay on your way out, please, okay? $20. <laughs> of Alexis Joy Florals, who has a, a, a florist company here in Picton, and she did these beautiful arrangements to support alternatives to women. Okay. Thank you all so very, very much for coming. I want to say thank you to Alexandra and her team for a great evening.